show was started probably in around 2012, so it's been about three years of work to compile all the work in the show. Most of it is related to my very early beginnings. I was influenced greatly by Mesoamerican architecture. The early beginnings were ideas about simple geometric form and cosmic ideas, spirituality and purity and poetry of simple geometric constructions. In 2012, I decided there was a shift in my work. I decided that I wanted to go back to my early beginnings, which was sculpture and architecture. I actually studied sculpture, got a degree in sculpture, and then went to school for architecture, um, got a degree, and decided I wanted to do artwork. So this show is sort of an introduction to going back to my roots and doing more architectural work. It's actually a survey, so we started around 2005 with some simple sculptural forms and then it goes through to the current 2016 work. The show is divided into three sections. The first section is the early works from about 2005 to about 2010-11 and then we go on to the second section which is 2011, 12, 13 where I sort of go back and introduce the heavy grid work and then last we'll go from 2014 to 2016 where I introduce the new work which is simply bands of color that represent the post and the beam and are extremely architectural. The 2005 and early works, I was using a grid that really represented a kind of a spiritual network that interconnected all things and it also represented uh, three-dimensional work on a two-dimensional plane. In this case, it's three-dimensional. I was still working with wood and developing ideas about architectural form. In this case, this one's called First Three Steps, which is directly related to the Mesoamerican pyramid. And you'll notice that the grid is sort of placed all over the, the piece and the intersections are placed with nails to sort of suggest point, intersection, and then the grid is sort of this expansiveness. This piece is called Migration, and again, I have the grid sort of as a foundation, and I was using letters to represent not only the idea about language, but the spoken word. This is a human element that was sort of trans or transforming or taking a journey from light to dark. Now, some people think of it as a, a journey of from life to death. I kind of think of it as a spiritual transformation. In 2012, I, there was a shift in my work, and it was based on my father. He was in his 80s, he was aging, and there was this sadness about life coming to an end, and I was very focused on that. And I also was focused on my own life and thinking about what I wanted to do most, and I sort of went back to my early works, which were very simple geometric forms, and I decided to try to get to the essence of this uh, sort of geometric abstraction that I had been doing. I wanted to streamline it and sort of distill it to just the basic elements with no decorative kind of features. And so the grid became again very prevalent and very simplified. Intersection, point, and grid, sometimes circles, and some linear forms were, were pretty much the elements I was working with. These three pieces are called the Three Graces, and I did a piece in red, white, and black. And they're uh, speaking about the Greek myth. The three graces in the mythological terms were charm, beauty, and fertility. And for me, those represented elements of the feminine that I didn't find to be most important. So I wanted to create um, images that explained the feminine in more expansive, more hopeful, more powerful terms. So these pieces were sort of stripped of those inessential qualities and wanted to get to the essence of what the feminine was all about.
I was asked at the artist discussion panel what my favorite piece in the show was, and I thought, well, usually my favorite, favorite work is the stuff that I'm doing most recently. But I thought for a minute, and I went back, and I remember this piece, um, which is called The Beauty of a Rainy Day, how to me it was a very touching, kind of emotional piece. I did this again back thinking about life and its you know, temporary quality and my father's life coming to an end and um, just thinking about all of us here not having an existence that goes on endlessly. And so it was about the beauty of sadness actually and the beauty of a rainy day sort of was a metaphor for that. small studies in 2014 I did for a show at Avenue 50 called Notes from the Chicano Sublime and I showed with three other Latino abstract artists and for me the work shifted and I'm going to go back to my father again who passed away in 2013 and soon after that my work sort of left the grid behind it wasn't using the grid foundation and I started, started using these bands of color which I equate to architectural form which is you know the post and the beam so it's very framed and I kind of consider that to be a um, portal so it creates this structure that has an opening that suggests passage. This piece is titled Bridge, it's a diptych, and it's done in two parts, which kind of suggests the bringing together of two pieces, and it commemorates the uh, destruction of the Sixth Street Bridge. When I was looking at the bridges along the LA River, I always considered the bridges as sort of a, a band-aid, or something that was sort of pulling the parts together. And in this case, we have a diptych, which is brought together with the lines and the linear flow. So it suggests healing, it suggests bringing things together. The Thin White Light, and it's the, the last piece I did in the show, and it was a takeoff from pieces that were all posts and beams, the verticals and the horizontals, and I just sort of wanted to do an actual sculptural form, so I just took the vertical and applied the paint, and of course the central area, which is pearlescent white, brought to mind the idea of transcendence and passage and moving on to some higher plane. 